Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today I have a Bigfoot sighting to go over. But before we get into that, I would like to remind everyone that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be posting new sighting videos at 8 p.m. Eastern. I would also like to invite everyone to tune in at 8 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday and Thursday for our live show, where you can ask questions or give your opinions or comments through live chat. So what you say, we get on into the sighting now. This sighting comes out of Rockingham County, New Hampshire. It's from July of 2013. If you want to find this sighting report, you can go to the BFRO website. It's case number 48940. The witness had gone out to ride his bike on some mountain bike trails that were behind his house. Being a nice summer day and the witness wanting to get some exercise, the witness hadn't been out too long on the trails when he says that he heard something with him describing the noise as a stumping noise, with the witness coming to a stop on his bike. While looking around to see where the sounds were coming from, then he said, that he asked in a very loud voice, Anybody there? At this time, he did not hear any replies, and he could no longer hear the noise. So he decided to continue with his ride, with the trail that the witness was on, continuing on and going up a hill. As the witness started to top this hill, this is when he said, that he heard what sounded like a roar, which sounded to the witness like a dog, but much louder, deeper, and stronger. At least this is how he described it in his interview, with the young man saying that he was shocked at this point, with him bringing his bike to a complete stop while at the time the witness looked to his right where the noise had came from. Now at this point the witness said that standing only 20 feet from him, just at the bottom of the hill and off to the right of the trail, was a very large creature hitting a tree, with the witness saying that he didn't see this creature holding any stick or limb to hit the tree with, so he thinks that it was just hitting the tree with its hand. Now the witness did estimate that this creature's height, saying that it was at least nine foot tall, while being very wide. With the investigator asking the young man to compare the width to his father, with the witness saying, that this creature was two and a half times the width of his father, with the witness also saying that this thing had reddish brown hair or fur, with him saying that it looked kind of dirty while smelling like a dumpster that had been out baking in the sun for a few weeks. Now the witness says that him and this creature locked eyes just for a few seconds. Then this creature took off back into the woods, with the witness watching the first two or three steps before it was gone. Now within that second or two that the, he had locked eyes, the witness said that this creature's eyes were a bluish-greenish color. Once the figure was out of this sight, the witness says, that he paddled as hard as he could getting back home. The BFRO interviewer did say that he believed what the young man was telling him due to the excitement and fear that would change his voice as he was telling his sighting story. So what do you think on this one? Was it a Bigfoot or something else? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. 
And if you like this sighting report, then give us a thumbs up. It truly does help our channel out. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. Now, if you had the time and would like to help support our channel, go over to Teespring Store where you can find some fun t-shirts among other items. I will place the link in the descriptions down below. So till next time, have a great day. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.